The period from 2000 to 2009 was a pretty solid decade for the Yankees. They bookended the 2000 aughts with their 26th and 27th world titles and won the pennant in both 2001 and 2003. The middle years were lean in terms of championships, but thanks to an influx of great moves by Brian Cashman, the Yankees did a whole lot of winning. These are the five best trades from 2000 to 2009. Number five, Nick Swisher for Wilson Betamit. On November 13th, 2008, less than two months after missing the postseason for the first time since 1994, the Yankees took a major stride towards winning the 2009 World Series when they traded utility man Wilson Betamit and minor league pitchers Jeff Marquez and Johnny Nunez to the White Sox for Nick Swisher. Swisher had a bad year in 2008 but he bounced back with the Yankees in 2009, mashing 29 home runs and driving in 82 while posting an 869 OPS and 122 OPS+. Plus. He helped the Yankees get back to the ALCS in 2010 when he put up an 879 OPS and 29 more home runs and made his only career All-Star appearance. In four years with the Yankees, he posted an 850 overall OPS and 105 home runs. Number 4. Curtis Granderson This was a rare three-team trade in which the Yankees sent Ian Kennedy to the Diamondbacks, the Diamondbacks sent Max Scherzer to the Tigers, and the Tigers sent Curtis Granderson to the Yankees. On December 8, 2009, the Yankees acquired Granderson to be their new center fielder, and he was great, providing a ton of excitement at a time when the Yankees were trying to rebuild and stay competitive at the same time. In 2010, the Grandy Man hit 24 home runs and posted an OK-ish 792 OPS, but he really took off in 2011, smashing 41 home runs and knocking in a career-best 119 runs. He won a Silver Slugger and finished fourth in the MVP voting. In 2012, he smoked 43 more home runs and made his second consecutive All-Star appearance before missing most of his final season with the Yankees due to injuries. The Grandy Man was regarded as a great teammate, and he's always done a ton for the community wherever he's played. In my opinion, he's going to be a great Major League Manager one day. Number 3. Sean Chacon for two prospects The Yankees were underperforming badly in 2005, opening the season 30-32. and 32. But mid-season acquisition Sean Chacon, who was 1-7 with the Rockies, stepped in to help the Yankees win the division. There isn't a ton of footage of Sean Chacon as a Yankee, but he stabilized a Yankees rotation that featured Randy Johnson, Mike Messina, Chen Ming Wong, and the legendary Aaron Small, who was 10-0. Sean Chacon pitched six and two-thirds innings of four-hit, two-run ball against the Angels in his only postseason appearance of his career with the Yankees. But if you were around to watch that season, you'd know the Yankees couldn't have even made the playoffs without Sean Chacon. Number two. David Justice for Ricky Lede. Twitter legend and one-time Yankees prospect Ricky Lede never quite panned out as the superstar he was projected to be, but he did help the Yankees beat Kevin Brown in Game 1 of the 1998 World Series. In 2000, he was traded for an aging David Justice, who absolutely raked as a Yankee. In 78 games after being traded to New York, he batted 305 with 20 home runs and 60 RBIs. He won the 2000 ALCS MVP against Seattle, picked up a World Series ring, and then had a solid year in 2001 before being acquired by Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill. Number 1. Alex Rodriguez for Alfonso Soriano A-Rod only won a single World Series title with the Yankees, but in terms of sheer statistics and accolades, Perhaps no player other than Babe Ruth has ever been as dominating after an acquisition. In his years with the Yankees, A-Rod hit 351 home runs, won two MVP awards, made six All-Star appearances, and carried the Yankees to the 2009 World Series title. Check out my video, When Alex Was a Yankee. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video. I've got two honorable mentions. The first is Bobby Abreu, who joined the Yankees in 2006 after a trade from the Phillies 
and hit 330 over his first 58 games. And of course, honorable mention to current Yankees manager Aaron Boone, who didn't do a whole lot with the Yankees, but he did have one very, very big swing. Who should be in the best trades from 2010 to 2019? Tell me in the comments and I'll see you next time.